Make no mistake, prayer is needed. But religious heads say it's not the only solution for fighting crime. There is nothing wrong in trusting in God and, and turning to God, like I said, for strength and courage and wisdom and guidance. But it must never be seen as a reason for us to abandon our respective responsibilities. They say all citizens are required to lend a hand in fighting the scourge. It's why Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Port of Spain, Father Martin Sergio, says in the Catholic News that people can't magically expect divine intervention. But while they agree with the police commissioner's call, they wonder if it may be falling on deaf ears. The people, there is no spirituality in the people right now in the whole world. People just mechanical, you know. The world is only about money or worldly things that we would see. And they're not concerned about praying and, you know, getting themselves committed to God. Testament to the need for individual action, President of the interreligious organization, Lloyd Sergio, says religious bodies have always been praying for crime to end. He says people need to take a stand against crime in more ways than just one. I mean, I don't want to say what government should do or what government shouldn't do, but people need to be allowed to protect themselves. SDMS Secretary General Vijay Maraj and the Asja PRO believe religious studies need to return to schools to bring children closer to God. Rashad Khan, CNC3 News.